Hey everyone, I'm Shadow DTV, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up a Stream Deck on your phone. So you can use an iPhone or an iPod Touch or an Android phone. We're going to load the Stream Deck software onto your phone. There is a free trial, which is for about 30 days. Um, and then after that, it's very, very affordable compared to a real Stream Deck. You're looking at about 20 to 30 Australian dollars for a whole year's subscription. You will have access to all the same features as a physical Stream Deck. So really, you can't go wrong. I'm going to go through the setup, how to install it on your computer or your Mac. And then I'm also going to show you how to set it up on your phone. We're going to connect the softwares together through Wi-Fi. And then you'll be able to control software like OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we've got plenty of content, plenty of tutorials, plenty of gameplay. Trust me, you won't regret it. Without further ado, let's get this set up. So the first thing we're going to need to do is install the software for the Stream Deck on your PC or Mac. So we're going to go to, we're just going to type Stream Deck into Google. Um, so it's Elgato.com. All right, here we are. So we're not actually buying a physical Stream Deck like this. We're going to use the one on mobile. So we're going to go to Downloads. Here you can see Stream Deck Mobile. Turn your phone into a Stream Deck. It's a wonderful idea by Elgato. Um, I mean, they made it super affordable for streamers. So we're going to go Stream Deck, and I'm installing it for Windows. There is also a version for Mac if you're using a Mac. Once that's done, install the software. Then you'll be able to open it, and then we can get into the setup. Once you open up the Stream Deck software, you'll be greeted with something like this. Don't worry about the tabs here. You might not have all of them. I've installed some extra ones. But you'll have this grid here. It might ask you to create a profile. Just create a profile. But what we do need is the software on our phone. So grab your phone or iPod Touch or your Android device and we'll set that up. I believe this will also work with a tablet. So if you're going to use a tablet, go and grab that. Okay, so once you're on your phone, you're going to go to... So I'm doing this on an iPhone. If you're on an Android, go to the Google Play Store. So we're going to go to the App Store and we're going to search up Stream Deck. There it is, the Elgato Stream Deck Mobile. I've already downloaded it before, but download this one. It is free, the app. You will see it does offer in-app purchases. So you're looking at 39 Australian dollars for a yearly subscription. Okay, once that's downloaded, we can open it. Yes, we want to allow it to use on local devices. So you can subscribe. Um, there is a free trial. Okay, so I'm just going to restore purchases. You're, you're going to do the free trial. So it would like to access my camera. And the reason for this is we need to scan the QR code. So back on the computer here, you want to go to this little drop down here and you want to go add mobile device. Now I'm not going to show you this page because it shows the QR code. Um, but what you're going to do is, is you're going to go back to your phone and you're going to scan this QR code. Once you've done that, you'll see it says new stream deck detected. So as you can see on the computer, we've got this uh, little welcome here and we've also got it on our phone. So you can turn your phone to the side and it's going to mimic what you're seeing on your computer. You can use it vertically on your phone as well. Um, it is up to you. Uh, the real Stream Deck is in a horizontal uh, configuration like the software. So that's probably the best way to use it on your phone. This little welcome here is just a URL. So if you were to click this button on your phone, it would open up this website. We don't need that, so we're going to delete it. So the first thing we'll want to do is uh, link some accounts. So if you hit this little settings icon, accounts, you're going to link up your Twitch or YouTube or whatever you're using to stream with. You click the little plus symbol here. If you have Twitter, you can set up the Stream Deck to send tweets, so add that. You can also add Streamlabs in here to control some Streamlabs things. Once you've done that, first thing we're going to want to do, open up your streaming software, so if that's OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. Here you can see you've got Streamlabs OBS here and OBS Studio here. All of these tabs will allow you to add buttons to your Stream Deck. So the first button we're going to look at is a scene, so I'm going to drag this over here. Um, I can select any scene from my streaming software. So for instance, my intro screen, and we'll call that intro. So all of this will update on the Stream Deck on your phone. We'll call that intro. Now by pressing that button, it will take me to my intro screen. So I'm gonna show you how that works now. And there we go. It's taken us to the intro screen. I will go back here. So we can add another scene. We can add a scene uh, that goes to our Be Right Back screen. Will that be our B? And again, it's going to do the same thing. Press that button and it takes us to my Be Right Back screen. 
Very simple. Um, you can rename these. You can add images um, that will show up on the Stream Deck app on your phone. We can also move this to a folder. Now this is now in a folder. Like as you can see, you can actually create uh, folders. We're going to drag this into the folder as well. Uh, sorry, I'm going to cut. Uh, sorry, copy. We'll paste it in here. Right click and paste it. Now we can delete this one, and we'll call this folder folder scenes. Now I've got a folder. I click on the folder on my phone and inside this I can add as many scenes as I want. I can add more folders so you can set up a scene for uh, each, a button for each scene that you have in, uh, in your streaming software. Again, if you go over to the Streamlabs OBS one, you're going to have the exact same buttons. Um, just choose the one that's uh, for your streaming software. Next we've got mixer audio, so I'm going to drag that in. Um, I'm going to select my microphone, mic. Now when I press this button, it's going to mute my microphone. Uh, and now we're back. There we go, unmuted. So that will mute and unmute your microphone. And then you can also set up another one for your game audio. Mine's just desktop or my computer audio. So that's obviously, it's muted right now. So it's not coming through uh, this recording. And then you can name those again. So I'm going to call this mic and call this game. Perfect. Now we've got some audio, uh, we can mute and unmute our audio. We've got a record button here. This button you can press to start recording your VOD through the software. Mine's already uh, on because I'm currently recording. You can add one to stream. So right now we're not live, but when you click that button, you will go live. We can call this offline. And then if you click this little dot here, it'll switch over to what it looks like when you are live. So you could call this one live. And right now it's offline. When I click this button, it will start the stream and will also sh change and show that you're live. Perfect. Um, you can also control your sources. So you could set this up to turn your webcam on and off. Um, there's a bunch of things you can do there. So if I go to my game scene, um, I have my webcam here, main cam. So I'll now be able to turn that on and off. I'll show you an example of that. This is my game screen here. You can see me. Press the button. And now I'm gone, press the button again, and I'm back. You can control all your sources from here as well. All right, next we will, so that's all of the things you can add for your streaming software. Next, we'll take a look at some other things. Um, Twitter, if you want to tweet, you want to send an automatic tweet, you can add a tweet here. Subscribe to Shadow DTV on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe. So that's uh, when I click that button, it will it will send a tweet. You got to make sure that your account is linked, like I showed you at the start. Um, and then let's head over to this Twitch tab. You might be using YouTube, which means you'll use the YouTube tab. You can send chat messages. It's the exact same for Twitch. I can drop a chat message in here. We're going to say the same thing. Subscribe to Shadow DTV on YouTube. Just going to paste that in there. So when I click this button, it will now send in the Twitch chat, subscribe to Shadow DTV on YouTube. And that'll be coming from my Shadow DTV Twitch account. So during the stream, if someone asks you a question, you can have a button set up, press that button and will automatically give them the information they need. Uh, very, very useful. For Twitch, you've also got a bunch of other buttons. Clear chat, it will clear the chat. Emote only chat, follower only chat. You can set it up to automatically play an ad when you press the button. Slow chat. Um, you can change the streaming game title so you could set up all the different games you play so it automatically changes it with the press of a button. Sub only chat. Create a stream marker. I use this one a lot. When you press this button, it will add a marker to your VOD. So if something important happens that you might want to go back and clip later, you can click that button. Um, view account. This will just show you on your stream deck, on your phone, how many viewers you've currently got. I don't use that one. Create clip will automatically create a 30 second clip. Only works when you're live, obviously. And you can open your last clip. So that's all the things you can do for on Twitch. Um, another very, very cool thing is the system uh, commands. So you can get from the button press, you can open up a website. You can open up a, a, an application. So what I actually do is, so we'll move this over. I'm going to right click this and turn it into a multi-action what a multi-action is, they're extremely useful. One button pressed will allow a bunch of different commands to happen. I'm going to move this to a multi-action. So this is now a multi-action. So I'm going to call this setup. I'm going to create a one button setup. 
So in here, I'm going to use this system open. I'm going to choose an app. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to open Mix It Up, which is my uh, chatbot. I would also add my streaming software in here. Uh, maybe Spotify, if you use Spotify to play music. VLC, if you use VLC to play music. Um, and then I'm going to get it to open maybe uh, Twitch. I'll get it to open twitch.tv when I click this button. Uh, so I can go to my dashboard. So now when I hit this button, it's going to open all of that software at once. Amazing, amazing thing you can do with multi-actions. You can do a bunch of other stuff with it, which I'll show you in a moment. On top of everything you see here, and we've also got the soundboard. So if you click this little drop down, uh, you got sounds. You can create a soundboard. So you can create a folder of all your sound effects. Play audio. You drop that in there. Um, you choose the file. Choose the audio file. When you press that button, it will play. And you can set it to play. And then you can press it again to stop. Or you can have it um, loop, play, restart. You can. There's a bunch of different settings that you can play around with. Now, apart from all of these here, you'll see there's a couple here that you might not have because I've added these myself. So if you go to the more actions uh, tab down here, there's a bunch of plugins that you can get which give you more functionality. So um, voice mod, if you use voice mod, you can control it. Uh, we've got Philips Hue. If you have Philips Hue lights, you can control them from here. Uh, we've got a simple counter, voice meter integration, stopwatch. You can control IQ. Uh, world time's a real useful one. I set up a bunch of world times so I can see what the different time zones are. Audio meters. There's plenty of different stuff you can get. So direct link to your favorite YouTube channel so you can quickly hit a button, open up a YouTube channel. There's plenty of stuff you can do. So you can check all those out. Jump on Google. You can search up some popular ones and uh, add those. So that's pretty much all you need to do for the setup. As you can see on our phone, it's replicating what we're seeing on the screen. You're probably wondering, this is great. Now I know how to set up all these buttons, but what should my layout be? How can I make this neat and tidy? I'm going to show you what my Stream Deck setup looks like. So this is my setup here. I've changed the images to some neat ones. Um, you can find some online or make your own. So inside scenes, I've got all my scene buttons. As you can see, they're all multi-actions. And the reason for this is when I click my intro button, it goes to my intro scene. It mutes my microphone and it mutes my desktop audio. And this is because it has a video playing. So I've set all of these up to do that. My just chatting screen, it goes to my intermission screen. It unmutes my desktop so you can hear my music and it unmutes my microphone so you can hear me talking. So you can set these up. Like I said, plenty of things you can do with the multi actions. Inside chat, I just have a bunch of automatic chat uh, commands. So I click the, I press this button and it will write exclamation sub in the chat, which will then activate a command. Sources. So inside here, I've got all my different uh, sources. So bottom left is that camera that I turned on and off earlier. Um, so I've got all my different cam positions here. A Discord overlay, my screen cam. Um, so you can set up all those. All my mod buttons for Twitch, play and add, emote only chat. So I've added all those in there. This is my one uh, one tap setup button. I press this and it opens all of these apps and websites. Timers. I've got a few timers that show up on stream. And like I was explaining before, the world times, just give them a second to load. I've got all different time zones here. I can always compare those to mine. Uh, I've got an audio mixer here for, for my music, for my Discord, for the game that I'm playing. And I can mute and unmute my uh, audio. I've got that stream marker button that I was telling you about. I use that a lot. This screen button just uh, activates a command. Um, I have a screen counter on the stream for our Fright Night Fridays. So that just adds a screen to that. Uh, the sleep button just uh, activates the screen save on my stream deck. So I just press that when I'm not using it. Uh, offline and online uh, and live. That's my stream live button. And then inside here, I've just got a bunch of GIFs that I can activate on my stream. This is all done through stream elements. So each of these buttons is actually just sending a chat command. And I've just added some images so I know what uh, what buttons what. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned a lot. Get your Stream Deck set up on your mobile phone. Enjoy that free trial. If you do end up loving the software, which I'm sure you will, you can subscribe to it for, I think it was 40 Australian dollars a year. Very affordable. A physical Stream Deck costs about 250 Australian dollars. So five-year subscription to the mobile app is going to be the equivalent of a physical Stream Deck. 
Now, if you do really love the Stream Deck and you can afford the physical device, I would suggest getting it. It saves you not having to use your phone. The buttons are very nice. They're very tactile. Um, you can animate GIFs on there. It's very, very smooth, very useful. But again, the phone works just as good. Don't forget to like, comment on the video. Let me know what you thought about this tutorial and let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. In my next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use CloudBot. Now, this is a chatbot created by Streamlabs. It runs completely in the cloud, which means you don't need to download any software and it is always running on your channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.